Okay, let's look at example one. In quadrilateral ABCD, given that AB equals to AD and BC equals to CD, that is AB equals to AD and BC equals to CD, prove that angle ABC, this angle, equals to this angle. And obviously, we just can't just prove these two angles directly equal to each other. Actually, we have to prove a pair of congruent triangles first. And if we cannot find two triangles in the figure, we, just, we can just simply construct or make our own triangles. And obviously, in this example, we can just simply join AC. And then we have triangle ABC and ACD. And since these two pairs of size AB, AD, BC, CD, they are equal because they are the given conditions. And of course, AC is the common side of these two triangles. And look that improving congruent triangles or similar triangles, the common size will always be the most important size of the two triangles. And therefore we can apply the S, S, S condition to prove ABC is congruent to ACD. And therefore, afterwards, if they are congruent, then these two corresponding angles will be equal to each other. And now we can write down our proof. And of course, we have to write down in triangle ABC, triangle ADC. We have AB equals to AD. And this is a given condition. Again, BC equals to CD. And other given condition. And AC equals to AC. We have a common sign. And therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A. D, C. We have S, S, S. And therefore, angle A, B, C will equal to angle A, D, C. And the reason is, this is a very important reason, corresponding size, congruent triangles. Remember, just don't ignore or left out this very important reason. And therefore we have a very important strategy in solving this example one. We have to make our own triangles if there are none in the diagram. 